What is happening guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out 10 Instagram accounts that have cinematography fire. And we are back, back for another week. We're back on the YouTube grind. We are doing this thing. No more breaks, no more chilling out. We're gonna make a movie one day and we need to talk about things. So let's get straight into it. 10 Instagram accounts that you should be following if you are into cinematography. So at number one, we have Jeremy Snell. Oh my goodness. He is pretty much the one that opened my eyes up to how beautiful motion picture can actually be. Most of the shots on his Instagram feed are stills from videos. Although I know he does take some film photos as well, but just every single frame, every photograph he posts, every still capture he posts is just so, beautifully exquisite. <laughs> I don't know how to put it in a better word, but it makes me so mad that every single photo he posts is just so good. I think what drew me most to his feed is his use of color. Every single photo just has this vibrant color to it, but also has that filmic feel. So like blending those together just does, does wonders for me. If you're not following Jeremy already, I would highly suggest checking him out. He's also always traveling the world. It seems like he's in a different country every single week doing different commercials and films. So it's interesting to see the world from his perspective as well. Up next, we have Mika Berra. He is a director of photography based in Stockholm, Sweden, and I actually only found his feed recently, but we've become a little bit friends. Um, been speaking down in the DMs, but again, he is just another one where every single post he makes, I'm just like, oh, this is so annoying. It's just too good. Mika is also traveling the world doing different commercials and films and again just to see the world from his perspective the way he captures the light and shadows is just so interesting. He also brings these vibrant blues and oranges into his feet as well and I think what I love most about his work is how he captures the human form really bringing that emotional feel into his work. At number three we have Lazar Bogdanovich. Really hope I said that right. Anyway, Lazar is also a director of photography, and if you want to talk about Moody, his is the feed to go to. I feel like he just captures so much raw emotion in all of these images. From portraits to landscapes, all of it just has this depth that tells a story of its own. I can just get lost scrolling through his feed and analyzing every picture for hours. At number four, we have Alban S. Joden. I'd like to call him the master of light. The way he lights his subjects in portraits is phenomenal. Not only just the studio slash bedroom at home kind of shots, but even when he's out there in the middle of nowhere with probably zero equipment, he still manages to make it look incredible. He plays with lights and shadows so well, really bringing strong feelings across through his images. He also has this muted pastel tone color palette, which I absolutely love, but then once in a while he'll throw in this bright pop of color like a red light on the subject's face, really emphasizing the form and bringing attention to a specific area on the model. At number five, we have at Lumino. And I would say that his whole Instagram feed is pretty much a movie in itself. I'm sure a lot of the pictures that he does post are stills from actual movies or films or commercials that he's made. One of my favorite things about Eric's work is that he captures these small intimate moments that most of us will miss on the day to day. Most of his work takes place on the streets of New York City and if any of you have tried street photography, it is super difficult to get those intimate moments. So I show high respect to him for getting those moments so close up and intimate. Just one last point on his work, he kind of has this diffused feeling for the highlights and I just love how beautifully the highlights roll off into the deep dark shadows. Coming in at number six, we have Ryan Booth. Ryan is a director based in New York City, although he has been a DP for the past six, seven, eight years, something like that. And I love following Ryan on Instagram. He's super active, posts almost every day. Um, and what I like about him is he doesn't really care about having a theme on Instagram, catering to Instagram. He just goes out there and shoots every single day, whether it's on his way to work, it's on the subway, it's on a plane, on a shoot, whatever it is, Ryan is always shooting and always sharing his process to us as the audience. Another thing that I love is that he has these ask me anythings every once in a while and he just has so much knowledge about the film industry and about making films that I found it highly valuable. So even if you don't want to follow him for his visuals, which I think you should anyway, 
definitely follow him for the advice and the information that he has within the film industry. Up next, we have another director, Solomon Leithholm. I, I'm not really sure how to say the surname, but I know that he is from South Africa as well. So shout out to the South Africans out there. Like I said, Solomon is a director, but he has this eye for beautiful imagery. One thing that I love about his work is how he captures the details in certain moments. I think the shot that actually got me following him on Instagram was this close up of a man's mouth, weirdly enough. And I'd never really seen that before, but it just had so much detail to it. And you could see the wrinkles and the imperfections and that just told a whole story in its own. So if you're looking for some sick photos of Miles, definitely check out Solomon's work. <laughs> I'm kidding. He has a lot more to his library than just that one mouth, but that is what caught my attention. He's got great lighting, great colors, and just a, in general, a great eye for the world. Up next, we have Gustav Bondesen at 33 Gustav on Instagram. Gustav is another director, and he actually has a short film on the way, which I'm really excited to see, but Again, some of the visuals and the stills that he posts from his films are just truly incredible. He has a great eye and really knows how to curate his visual style into something truly beautiful. Most of his images are quite dark, really focusing on the shadows or rather the absence of light and then using that light to draw attention to certain places of his subject, his landscape, whatever he's trying to capture. Coming in at number nine, we have my good friend at Mitchell Mullins. Mitchell has been on this channel countless times before. I've known him for almost like two or three years now. And he's another one of those people where every single time he posts, I'm like, damn, it's so perfect. And I have to try so hard not to copy every single thing he does. But I think that is a great compliment to Mitchell. Um, Right now, he is currently experimenting with and, of course, perfecting uh, FPV drone stuff. So if you want to go check out his accounts for some more spicy cinematic content, definitely go check him out. He's also another one of those people that's always in another country. So great to see the world from his perspective as well. At number 10, we have photos by Benji. I only discovered him recently and although he has a small following, doesn't matter in the slightest. <laughs> Most of these photos are shot at night, often capturing a subject under bright fluorescent lights. And then he also incorporates these bright colors and contrasting complementary colors to really make his subject stand out. Not only that, but I think he shoots everything on film as well. So that just adds that extra grain, grittiness and textures to the photos too. Would highly recommend, please go check him out. And now for a quick bonus round. Okay, I know I only promised you guys 10 Instagram accounts, but I really had to throw this quick bonus round in there. So here, really quickly, are five extra accounts that I think you should be following. Number one is Tim Kellner. Been following him forever, and if you're a fan of cinematography and short films, you've probably seen his work on YouTube already. Number two is Louise Amelie. Hope I said that right, but I actually found her through Tim's work when they were down shooting a commercial for Fjall Robin. Robin, I hope I said that right, uh, the Swedish backpack company down in New Zealand and the work they got out of there was just so beautiful. The next two accounts are actually feature accounts but I think that every single post they make is so well chosen and just creates a beautiful gallery of all these cinematic images. So number one is Think Burial and the second one is Photo Cinematica. Those two accounts are also a great place to find new inspiration for cinematic photography or film style. And then our last Instagrammer that you absolutely need to be following for the most spicy cinematic content is at Visual Rev. Shameless plug for myself. My work isn't too spicy, but I think it's just spicy enough. So I don't even know what that means, but if you want to go check it out, there will be a link to my Instagram down in the description below, as well as every single other person that you heard on this video today. Please go send them some love and show them your support. Tell them Visual Rev sent you so that I can be friends with them, hopefully. Um, that'll be pretty cool. <laughs> And then who knows, maybe we could even get some of them on the channel to explain how they do what they do. So it's up to you guys. I'm counting on you. And that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Always makes me so happy to share my inspirations, my influences with you guys as well. Hopefully you can learn something from it. But in the meantime, I urge you guys to get out there, get creating and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Three, two, one and what is happening guys welcome back to another video my name is dean tucker and today we're gonna be checking out some instagram accounts that are cinematic uh, no. 
do that again. <laughs>